Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. I just got ready and I've been prepping for a market and that's why it is a mess behind me. I've been like prepping everything for the market. I've been putting everything in bins and then I got ready for the day. I'm currently gonna go upstairs and make some food to eat. My market is tomorrow, but I'm able to go and set up today, which is huge. I love being able to set up the day before. It just makes things so much easier. So I have my first market of 2022 today, which I'm really, no, tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. Currently, my boyfriend is sleeping. I think he went to bed at like four o'clock. So I kind of woke him up this morning, but he's really tired. So I've just been letting him sleep so that I can do what I need to do. The dog is sleeping like she wakes up at like six o'clock on the weekend and it's just the weekend. Weekdays she sleeps in but on weekends she wakes up at like six o'clock, wants me to wake up and then she goes back to bed. It's crazy. So anyway, I got up, I got ready. I've been packing everything. My current focus for this market was kind of just to sell whatever I had. I made a couple of new items but for the most part I am just going to be bringing all of my old stock so I can sell as much of my old stock as possible and then I have another market in about two weeks coming up where I want to make more Mother's Day things so today I'm going to bring you kind of along with me for today um, as much as I can film I will and then I'll bring you along with me tomorrow to the market hopefully fingers crossed I'm gonna be able to film everything I can, edit it, and then have it up for Monday. If not, I will put it up for Tuesday. I've been very busy lately with my full-time job, with my part-time job, and then trying to film. So I'm still trying to figure all of it out, but as of right now, I'm doing good. So yeah, take a breath. I did my makeup, I used my Project Pan items, and I'm currently using my Tom Ford lipstick. A little bright for me, but I just figured I'd put it on and then by the time I actually like go out in public, it'll probably fade and then I could just top it with something else to tone it down. So let's go upstairs. I'm really, really hungry. I really wanna eat. I have been up since about six o'clock this morning because of the dog. So let's just get this day going. You're still sleeping. You're still sleeping. Yeah, good morning. Okay, I think I'm gonna have one of these. I picked these up the other day. It's a maple French toast bagel. It sounds really good, it sounds really nice and sweet. These ones here in the four cheese are so, so good. So I think I'm gonna have one of these and then I think I'm gonna have an apple and I think I'm gonna fry up some ham. Scarlet's still half awake, but I mean, it's going on 10 o'clock and I'm hungry, so that's what I'm gonna do. I just started to get all my candles together. Basically, there's going to be two other booths there with candles, which is their main thing. So there would also be me. So as of right now, I know that there's for sure two other tables that do like specifically candles. Um, and then there's me with candles. So there would be three booths with candles. So what I decided for this market was I was just gonna bring all of my older stock. I wasn't gonna make any new candles. I'm just gonna sell whatever I have and I'm gonna put like my bigger candles on sale. So if I can clear them out, that would be nice. If I can't, I'll just bring them to my next market. It's no big deal. I have a nice variety of candles. I have Ocean Breeze, Oasis. I have one essential orange candle left. I have Sandalwood Amber, Sweet Pink Sugar, Chocolate, Chocolate Coffee Cake and Spice. And I think that's it. Like I have a decent variety of candles. So I'm just gonna bring whatever I have with me. I think I have like around 20 candles and if they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. That's why I'm mainly focusing on like my scrunchies. I'm focusing on my beaded bracelets. I'm focusing on my heating and cooling packs. I'm focusing on the vinyl decals. Like I'm focusing on 
other things other than candles but I was actually able to see like the layout of like the table setups and I actually chose the spot like right at the entrance so there's going to be like the host and then there's going to be like a little fundraising um, group beside me and then there's me and then there's someone else and then there's another candle booth so I'm kind of like right at the entrance so I mean if someone wants to buy candles like I'm literally right like the first table that they're gonna see with candles and then they'll go see everybody else I'm not expecting a ton of candle sales because like I said there's other people there with candles but that's why I'm just gonna bring what I have and also too I don't know the size of table I'm gonna have yet I did a little, I'll put a picture here, but I did like a little mock set up on a table that I have that's like just over three feet, like it's like 3.5. And I wasn't able to fit any of the candles on there, but because they are supplying tables, if their table is like four feet or if I'm able to get like a six foot table, then I'm able to actually put more of my products out, which would make more room for the candles. So if I can put the candles out, I will. If not, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I can just bring them with me for the other markets. So here's what I have personally found with markets. You need to have a variety of items. So even if you sell candles, it's really good to have, let's say some wax melts. It's really good to have maybe some wick cutters, maybe mini candles, larger candles. Uh, I'm trying to think of like other things. Oh, like um, wax melt melters you know what I mean so it's a good idea to have like a variety of items especially because if there are other tables that are selling like kind of the same thing that you are it's a good idea to have a variety and that's what I really tried to focus on this time because the other times that I would go to markets I found that okay a lot of people have heating and cooling packs okay a lot of people have beaded bracelets okay a lot of people have candles but I actually have like a variety like my beaded bracelets are different sizes they're not all the same size I know when my mom went and purchased a beaded bracelet from a lady at a market it the beat the bracelets were like all the same size so hers doesn't fit her very well so I have to fix it but they're all kind of the same size so mine are different sizes so if you have a smaller wrist there are going to be a couple of different options for you my heating and cooling packs are different sizes they're not just one size they're different sizes they're different prints and patterns so there's some for kids there's some for men there's some for women um they're bigger there's some that are smaller and they have like an envelope cover so you can wash it and they're also unscented but if you want to add essential oil you can just take the cover off put a few drops and then put the cover back on so I'm really trying to have a variety of products I have found that when you go to markets it's really important to have things at different price points even if you have like a little section like a little bin of a few things that are like five dollars and under ten dollars and under I just feel like that will attract more people and I also find that you have to think not everybody is going there knowing your products and not everybody is going there with like the same amount of money so for myself I always try and keep in mind the kids that are going to the markets they're not going to be able to spend like let's just say ten dollars on one hair scrunchie so if I can have a few that are on sale they can maybe pick up like one or two so everybody's going to be looking for different price points but I definitely feel like markets are really good if you can have some items that are a lower price and then you can have like your regular priced items so for example I just went through all of my scrunchies and all of my older scrunchies I put for three dollars or you can take four for ten and then my newer scrunchies my bigger ones my newer ones my more spring and summer ones they're going to be six dollars each so if someone doesn't really want to spend six dollars on one scrunchie they can go to the sale bin and they can either get two scrunchies for six or they can just get one for three. So my camera battery is gonna die. I am gonna charge this. I'm gonna continue on cleaning up my space and packing a few things. I'm trying to do this really low key at the moment because there's a lot of people outside. But basically we were supposed to meet here at three so we could kind of set everything up and the doors are locked. It's cold outside so I'm really glad that I wore a coat but I was really hoping to have everything set up today so I didn't have to set it up in the morning because setting it up like the same day is kind of crazy. So I'm really, really hoping that someone can come unlock the doors really soon because um, 
I didn't want to set up in the morning. A good morning, everybody. A little update on yesterday. So basically, I went to like unpack all my stuff and to prep everything um, for three o'clock. And basically, the person who like owns the space wasn't there, but the event organizer had everything ready. So basically, I came home ate some food and I was either waiting to go back last night or I was able to go back this morning and I went last night and I got everything ready all I have is like one area where I can just put out a couple of vinyl decals or keychains so that's what I'll do this morning I'm gonna get there at just a little after nine or nine uh, it starts at 10, so I don't want to get there too early, but I don't want to get there too late. So currently just removing my nail polish remover. No, it's early. Currently removing my nail polish because it started to peel and I wanted to do this last night, but honestly, I just started to get like my float ready and I just started to like pack everything last night. So I, uh, didn't have time to do this. So I'm gonna remove my nail polish and then I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna do anything like crazy today. I think I'm just gonna kind of focus on my project pan items to get a little bit more use out of them. And then I'm probably gonna eat something. And that is basically gonna be time because it's currently 8.04 and I'd like to leave here around nine and it probably takes like five minutes to get to where the uh, market is. So I've been wanting to bring you guys to the gym, but my main reason why I haven't been filming gym videos is because when I go to like film a video or record a video um, my music stops playing and then I have no music for like the whole set so I feel like if I do gym videos it's got to be on a day where like I have the time to like do all of my sets and then do like a set or two for the video or it's got to be a day where the gym is playing like decent music so that I can at least listen to something while I'm working out. That's like, that's like my biggest thing at the moment is, um, is that with the gym I want to film, but every time I go to, I always get like really distracted or it's like, I just want to listen to this song. So I haven't been filming gym videos. Oops drop that everywhere for any specific reason. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm actually using my reusable cotton squares. Basically, I will take um, like a cotton flannel. I believe this is what it's called, cotton flannel. It's soft cotton. And I make reusable cotton squares. And these are good for makeup remover. These are good for removing nail polish because all you do, you put your nail polish remover on it. You take off the nail polish and then you can put it in the wash so you're not having to use paper towels you're not having to use like face cloths where the um, nail polish gets like all hard and gritty this is a stain here they get stained but they don't get like really hard afterwards which is really nice and I've been using mine forever like ever um, you can also use them for like makeup remover. So you just apply your makeup remover onto them. Then you take your makeup off and they're just a lot more soft on your face and then you're not having to get makeup remover wipes. So that's, that's where I'm at at the moment. So I'm currently using the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation and this one's not bad but I really feel like I need like a really good hydrating primer underneath to make it look 
good. Like it does look good, but I just feel like if you have dry skin, it does pick up to those spots. So if you have like a really good hydrating primer underneath, it sets so much better. So I'm in the shade 002 Natural Ivory. This is my Merit brush I use all the time. Um, I'm having to use like my Blendiful from Tati Beauty. I need to wash it. So it just left me a little streaky today. So I'm having to like pad out anything with the Tati Beauty Blendiful. So I need to wash my makeup brushes. In with my Rare Beauty in 100W. This concealer is really nice. The only thing with this concealer is it's a really kind of like light to medium coverage. So I still can see my like under eye circles with it. It is really nice and the formula is really, really nice. But like I said, I can still see some of my like under eye circle poking through. On days where I just want a little bit of coverage, this is nice because it's like lightweight. It's easy to blend. You can walk out the door. I prefer a higher coverage formula. So I need to get like a better concealer. I've been using the Peach Perfect as a setting powder and it's actually pretty nice and the nice part is the tart the tart the peach scent doesn't bother me so that's a really good bonus so i think i'm gonna do my cheeks so two two i'll wait to do that i'm not gonna do my huda beauty lipstick today just because i'm trying to keep everything kind of light so just this My brows are pretty good naturally. It's just there's like a couple of spots that I always need to like fix up, especially the ends. The ends of my eyebrows, I always need to touch up. See, so this one compared to this one, they're both pretty good. Like I don't need a lot, just something to kind of fill in. I want some highlighter because I've been really liking how the blush looks with a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to put some on I'm using the highlighter from my Tarte palette. Not the biggest fan of the highlighter, but I love the blush and the bronzer. So at the moment, I don't feel like I need to get another highlighter. If I do, I think I'm going to get the Jouer one. I like Jouer. Okay, uh, next up, I'm just gonna use my single eyeshadow from Zoo Essence here. These are kind of my two like focus things right now, like the Going Coconuts and the Zoo Essence. This one, I'm almost done with. I think I have two more uses, but this one here, I have like three now. So I'm just gonna take I think I'm just going to take this shade right here because actually, wait, I want to kind of warm it up a little bit first. I'm going to dust away any fallout because there was a little bit of fallout. I hate this mascara. I'm just like, I hate it. The only reason I'm using it is because I don't have another one. I need to get another one. I hate this mascara. Like these are like little chunks from the mascara. I hate this mascara. It's also extremely dry. So don't like it. Not my favorite. I'm just, I don't have another one. So I don't have any other options right now. Lip products. This one's in my project pan for 16 uses. I have used it twice so far. I'm not gonna use it today because it's too bold and it does not wear a long time and I would have to reapply this like all day and I don't wanna do that. This one is in my project pan until I finish it. I finished my usage goal for baby, but I think I'm gonna actually use it again. I'm gonna use my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. 
I don't have a primer, so I've actually been using this as a primer lately um, just to get like a lot more use out of it. And there we go. There's the final look. I'll show you guys it in better lighting because it is quite dark down here and these walls make everything look a little bit more blue. But uh, yeah, let's get everything else ready to go to this market. Hi guys, it is Tuesday. My market was on Sunday and I came home on Sunday. I ate, I brought everything in, I put everything away. I was updating my website. I made candles yesterday. It has been a few, like couple busy days. So I'm ending the vlog today and now. It was a really good market. It was really fun. The market was a little bit slow. It wasn't like overly busy, but I feel like I did really good for the amount of people that went and for what I sold. I sold so many scrunchies. It was really nice to be able to sell a lot of the scrunchies. I also sold quite a few heating and cooling packs. For my next market, I have a few ideas in mind as to what I wanna make and bring. Uh, Friday is a holiday, so I do wanna take basically all of Friday and make a bunch of things and prep everything because my market is going to be the following Saturday. So my market is in less than two weeks uh, for the next one and I know that one is going to be busy because they have done markets before. There's gonna be a lot of vendors, it's gonna be outside and it's gonna be in an area where there's a lot of traffic. I'm really hoping that the weather stays nice because it's supposed to rain and we're outdoors. But as of right now, fingers crossed everything is gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna make a few candle scents. I think I'm gonna make two new candle scents. I know some people like unscented candles, so I may make unscented as well. But as of right now, I know for sure I'm gonna make two, maybe three. I'm gonna bring a few like Mother's Day mugs. I'm going to make a few more heating and cooling packs. So there's a couple of things that I do wanna make. I have a few bookmarks to finish. I have a few like little mats that I wanna finish. So I have some newer things and decals. Oh my goodness, the pet decals decals actually went really really quickly someone bought basically all of them so the next time i go that is definitely going to be something that i make the market overall was really good i ended up covering the cost of the booth i ended up making a good amount of profit i had a few sales afterwards so i'm really happy with the outcome thank you guys so so much for watching if you want to see more of these like videos and vlogs let me know i would be really happy to share more like behind the scenes this was my first one so i would would be happy to share like packing everything unpacking maybe the process of making some of my products and labeling some of my products and setting everything up so if you want to see more of these let me know and i will see you in the next one bye